Hey everyone, welcome back. I just wanted to briefly talk about possibly one of my new favorite shonen manga arcs that I've read in a while. I think it's been a long time coming uh, that I've read something that has like, astounded me and pushed me to make a video about it. Because <laughs> honestly, I could have made a ton of videos about arcs I read previously, like uh, frickin' Seven Deadly Sins was really good, frickin' I finished that, I finished, uh, what else did I finish, Full Metal Alchemist, that was great, um, but this arc in particular just really shows my favorite thing about manga, and I think it's the story, pretty much, so, last night I finished York New City arc in Hunter x Hunter, you can see there that my bookmark is in volume 13 at the very end, or like halfway through it, um, because that's when York New ends, ob obviously. And I don't want to really dwell on it and make just a huge, like, 20-minute video about why this arc was amazing. But, honestly, I I just have to praise Yoshihiro Togashi for his storytelling and his great, amazing characters. Because um, York New was unexpected. Very unexpected. I knew the name of the arc, I didn't know what was going to happen in it, but when reading it, it just, it just went, it just got better as it went on, and eventually it turned out to be amazing with a conclusion that made me be like, huh? And then I watched a video about it, specifically the, um, New World Review, uh, arc review for it, and that put things into perspective for me and made me just want to give my own thoughts on it. Because holy crap, I didn't know. And I, I, again, it was unexpected. I couldn't have thought that Hunter x Hunter would have an arc that would be so open-ended, so unfulfilling. Yet an arc that was still filled to the brim with just everything that I could have wanted. And everything that I think... Yoshihiro Togashi does like perfectly that he does well for one I just have to praise his story like I've I've said the way he does his stories the way he tells them just it's so good like how the arc doesn't even start with Kurapika because I just like uh how Liam in that video said that he wasn't a fan of Kurapika, I shared the same sentiment. Of the four main characters, he was my least favorite, but then this arc came along, and wow, he is incredible, but it, it doesn't start with him. It starts with Gon and Killua, and oh my gosh, that plot at the very beginning, I, I was like, okay, this is whatever, I don't care. It's fun to see these two characters interact, but I don't really care. And then it cuts to Kurapika, and for for the rest of the arc, those two plots just become one and merge in the end, and that and that flows into the next arc, and it works so well. I loved it so much. It's like the arc is a two parter. It's I I guess you could kind of say that it's like Wano Act One, Two, and Three, but not really. Um, freaking. Oh, I, I just I just loved it, and I also loved how most of the arc was like a crime thriller type almost, where Kurapika was trying to protect Neon, and uh, the uh, what were they called? And the spiders, the the uh, troop, they were like the villains, and I didn't I didn't even realize it, but just like Liam said in that video, like. Kurapika kind of seems like the antagonist in this arc, even though he's the protagonist. Which, it, it's just awesome how it's just this big revelation, really. About how, in the end, no one was really the bad guy. There's no resolution. The plot is still moving forward as it, as it should be at at this point. Because this, this is, it's, it's, it's looking up. It's looking to be great. When I first read Hunter x Hunter, I loved, like, the first volume, and after that, it just slowly went down, and then Heaven's Arena was good, and this just elevated it to a whole new level of excitement for me, because if this story is one that can be told in, like, 
six volumes, I think it was, then like I'm 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 so excited for Chimera Ant and the um upcoming arcs when I eventually read them, which will not be now. But oh my gosh, it was it was just great. It was it was great. Really I I love a good expectation su subverted. I love when it's done well when oh gosh, it's just there was so much to compact to talk about in this video. Um I but again, I just want to keep it short. I loved it. It was it's probably my favorite Hunter Hunter arc. One of the most polarizing and I mean that in a good way. Uh since like Savity Archipelago, which I read like two years ago. Like Wow. <laughs> All this video is just I I I think it's gone on long enough. If you're not a Hunter Hunter fan, oh I I recommend at least trying because York New City was one heck of an arc. <laughs> and I'm very excited for what's to come. Thank you for watching. Um, enjoy your day. I'm going to go contemplate what I read last night <laughs> and have fun. Goodbye.